Now let's take a look at the plan which uh, might uh, look uh, quite uh, daring and quite unusual uh, if you have never seen uh, something like this before. In uh, one of the uh, major positions uh, of King's India and after d597 here, there is a plan uh, of knight e1, knight d7, or knight e8 in fact, uh, where white um, can try to uh, keep the uh, king side closed by in fact uh, aggressively advancing it. Uh, so in the game Elianov uh, Rajabov and in many others uh, white uh, played f3, f5 and g4. Now if you have never seen this, this looks quite uh, ridiculous. White advances uh, the pawns uh, from his uh, uh, own king side and uh, uh, thus uh, visibly weakens the position of the king on uh, g1. Uh, the point to do something like this is that, in fact, white attempts to keep the king's side actually closed by doing something like this. Usually it is black who plays f4 and g5 and g4. And in order to uh, avoid this, white, in fact, uh, sometimes plays g4 to have uh, the possibility to go h4 after f4. And uh, ideally white uh, wants to um, have something like uh, like this, I'm king g2, followed by h4, rook h1, knight d3, queen e1, and after white uh, has managed to play uh, g4 and h4, white will always be able to uh, close uh, the king side, whatever black does. Uh, so, say, uh, with a pawn on h4, if black goes h5, then white will have g5, if black goes g5, white will have h5, so this is basically uh, the idea. But if black does not hurry with uh, f4, uh, something like this is very difficult uh, to um, fulfill in real life. Um, uh, black goes king h8, always a useful move in uh, king's Indian. Um, h4, and now uh, c6. We see that instead of uh, closing the position with uh, f4, uh, black uh, puts uh, pressure on white's uh, structure along uh, uh, the uh, central uh, diagonal and um, we see that okay, e4 is hanging, d5 is sometimes hanging and black can uh, sometimes proceed with b5 to put uh, the additional pressure on white's position and um, uh, it is uh, to be noted that uh, with the king on g1 whenever the position um, opens up this will uh, probably be to uh, black's um, advantage since the white's king is so insecure uh, there have been uh, quite some games uh, uh, from this kind of positions, but in this particular game and in many others, uh, White did not manage to uh, control uh, Black's uh, counterplay and uh, uh, in fact allowed uh, the opening up of the position under very favorable uh, circumstances for Black. So, King G2, Knight F6, uh, Knight D3, uh, knight uh, is uh, sometimes going to f2 to uh, further protect uh, the weaknesses on e4 and g4. b5. Uh, black is continuing to uh, put pressure on uh, white structure and basically should the c4 pawn collapse then uh, the whole uh, white pawn structure will uh, follow. So white continues to uh, protect his pawns. We see a very a uh, sharp fight uh, for uh, the integrity of uh, pawn structure here. Uh, rook b8, knight f2, b4, knight a4, and bishop b7. Okay, these moves were not forced, but uh, it's interesting that uh, black uh, removed um, the defender of uh, the pawn on uh, d5 by uh, attacking the knight and uh, now he hints on the fact that uh, at some point he uh, might actually proceed uh, simply by sacrificing on d5 and then the diagonal will open with um, uh, the sacrifice of a piece for two pawns and uh, black might uh, have uh, uh, sufficient compensation after this.